So it's our day off in El Paso. It's coming to an end and tomorrow we will travel further down the line in the time-space continuum known as Pablo Across America. We, uh, we will hit New Mexico about 45 seconds after we pull out of the parking lot here at the Comfort Suites. Um, so the race for the state line is going to be a big one. And I'm planning on winning it. Rick, if you're watching this, I'm planning on winning that. I happen to win it today as well. Um, but I broke a silent rule of the cycling world, which is no sprinting on a day off. So I want to want to acknowledge and celebrate the fact that Fred is here by showing you his uh, Whisk Zombie t-shirt design. It's the state of Wisconsin, uh, you know, turned into a skeleton. It's pretty amazing. It glows in the dark as well. Let's try it. Hold on. Let's try this. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. It glows in the dark. Amazing. All right. If you want to buy one, it's, uh, there you go, look, it's, no, I can't get it in the screen, toomuchmetal.com. In case you haven't watched any of the previous videos, Fred um, is one of my best friends in the world. We met the first day of high school in 1986. That was uh, when Ronald Reagan was president. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. Here in Texas, they have a different kind of a wall that um, a lot of Ronald Reagan's friends uh, have happily put up, made lots of money doing, and uh, anyway, that was an obtuse connection and a little politicizing. I'm sorry for that. Um, I, I am uh, going to read. Let me see if I can get something. I'm going to read. Margaret Hussman's book, Hope is Here. Um, that's the illustrated version of her. That's the real photo version of her. We met her dad earlier today, Harry. Um, Margaret had Wilms tumor, and um, she passed away in January. Her father, Harry, is a survivor of Wilms tumor, as is his sister. They're both in their 40s, um, both from El Paso. We met Harry. Um, in a pretty awesome way. I went to the chiropractor today uh, with Stan, our soigneur, and Stan had just found a chiropractor that was the closest Cairo to our hotel using the internet. Um, got to talking to this guy. Um, Phil was his name, and I used the term Wilms tumor, and the next thing I knew I was on the phone with Harry and uh, making this connection. This stuff doesn't surprise me anymore. It's not a surprise. Um, I just feel so energized, so cleared out after meeting Harry and um, just hearing what he had to say. He told me it does get easier. He described his ability to celebrate Margaret's life and to just cel celebrate all of these um, small things and to let them happen and to acknowledge them. Um, He's uh, about five months, six months ahead of us in the uh, in the mourning process, in the grieving process, and uh, I take his I take his direction and his uh, wisdom very seriously. Um, it's really really got me floating along very nicely since I met him. Um, our dedication tonight, this being an off day. Um, I dedicate morning and uh, evening to survivors of childhood cancer. There's an interesting guy that um, that we know at Dangerbird. Um, I think everybody at Dangerbird is friends with him. I know Acacia and Rishi are. His name is Cameron Rath, and he was involved in a Pablo Foundation benefit um, this summer. He in another just amazing um, round of connections. He uh, was a patient of Dr. Mascarenas, Pablo's oncologist. 
Um, Cameron is now, uh, well, he's older than 18. I don't know how old he is. He's 19, 20. He's a young guy. And um, he was diagnosed with um, a form of cancer called MDS, MDS, um, myelodysplasia. It used to be called pre-leukemia. And there is no cure. There is a maintenance regime. And um, Cameron uh, has described himself as stable. And I met him a couple months ago at uh, our office. Very nice guy. Just, you know, I've described cancer kids, uh, like kids like Pablo's age, young kids, as being um, special kids, uh, possessing a, an ability to just be sort of like um, angelic. Um, magnets for good stuff. And when I met Cameron, uh, even though he's over the age of 18, um, he started his, his cancer journey when he was 14, and uh, he had that energy, very much had that energy. Um, I looked up myelodysplasia on, on Wikipedia because I like to state facts. Um, and uh, it says that um, some notable people who had MDS, astronomer Carl Sagan, um, the children's writer Roald Dahl. That's pretty amazing, right? Um, I, didn't, I didn't know about either one of those guys. Um, Cameron is, a, is an example of, uh, of a guy who, who um, he has a big life. He's involved in all, all different uh, areas of the music community in Los Angeles. He's a real, um, he's a real good organizer. You know, he's not a guy who's just uh, hanging out. And um, I would like to attribute that to his, uh, his uh, being diagnosed with cancer at 14 and having to really watch his health and, and uh, getting um, continual treatment. Um, you know, certainly, certainly focuses you on what's important in life. You know, there was something I wanted to say. I mentioned it at dinner and I forgot what it is. Um, boy, well, I'll remember it on the bike tomorrow and I'll tell you tomorrow night. Um, I guess the theme for the day today is that there are no accidents, there are no coincidences. These things are just meant to happen. Meeting Harry, Fred being here and videotaping it on this very day. Um, Fred pulled out his iPhone at dinner and showed us a photo of Pablo with a uh, with a soap um, beard, like a gnome beard that uh, he uh, put on himself when, when Fred was at our house one day. It was uh, wonderful to see, and of course, uh, was shot in our bathtub at home, and and it was uh, just seeing seeing Pablo makes me happy, always, no matter what. Um, seeing Pablo in our bathtub, uh, with our window and our brick wall in the background, uh, it really knocked me in 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 the heart, and um, I began crying at dinner, and I I. Uh, I just let it flow through me. Our bathtub is where I first noticed the lump in Pablo's abdomen that that was uh, his Wilms tumor presenting, um, and so it kind of it just kind of slapped me there. Again, no coincidence, no surprise. It just it was meant to happen tonight. It was meant for me uh, uh, to see that. So whatever that means, I'm going to go to sleep on that note and uh, wish you a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow morning.